Welcome to the 10th episode of our series on mathematical language and symbols. In this presentation, we will be talking about the different operations on functions. But before we continue, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscription and notification bell to stay updated of future videos. The different operations on functions are as follows. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These are the same operations that we can apply to our numbers. However, in this case, we are not operating on numbers but on functions. I would like to emphasize the notations that we are using here. For addition, if we see this notation, we have f plus g of x. This means that we are given two functions, f and g, and what we want is to add them. How do we do that? Let us observe the right-hand side of the equation. We're going to take the first function f of x. We simply add it to the second function g of x. Similarly, for subtraction, if we see this notation here, f minus g, we are subtracting the first function by the second function. For our multiplication, our symbol here is a dot. This is not the same notation under composition of functions. This is multiplication. So we simply multiply the two given functions. That's the same with our division. f divided by g of x is the same as f of x divided by g of x. Of course, provided that g of x is not equal to zero because if that happens, then the entire quantity becomes undefined. Let's provide an example. We are given two functions here, f of x and h of x. Let us start with addition. Let us add f and h. That is f plus h of x. Again, by definition, we're going to add f of x and h of x. So we simply take the entire f of x, that's 2x squared plus 3x, that's what we see here, plus, we follow the operation, plus the second function h of x. So we simply copy the second function h of x. And then we simplify. So we combine whatever we can combine. Among the terms here, we can only combine this term and this term. 3x and 5x, that is 8 x and then we copy the rest let us subtract f and h that is f minus h of x by definition that is f of x minus h of x and again we simply copy the two functions and subtract them for subtraction it is important that we put a parenthesis to the second function especially if our function here is composed of more than two terms if we do not put a parenthesis here, we see that negative 1 remains negative 1. But if we put a parenthesis, it becomes positive 1. We have 2x squared plus, why do we have negative 2x here? That's the result of 3x minus 5x. That is negative 2x plus 1. Let us multiply this time the two functions. So you copy the two functions and then put the symbol between them to denote multiplication. So we have 2x squared plus 3x times 5x minus 1. Of course, if we remove this symbol, it would still mean multiplication because we are using parentheses. And how do we multiply? We can apply FOIL method. We multiply our first terms. Our first terms are 2x squared and 5x. That's what we see here. And then the outer terms, we have 2x squared and negative 1. We multiply them. And then we have 3x and 5x. And last, we have 3x and negative 1. We multiply the expressions in each parenthesis here. We have 2x squared times 5x is 10. x squared times x is x cubed. We are adding the exponent. Again, x squared times x is the same as x raised to 2 plus 1. That's why we have x cubed. And then we have negative 2x squared. That's negative 1 times 2x squared. How about the third term here? 3x and 5x. 3 times 5 is 15. And why do we have x squared? That's because we have x and x. If we multiply, we add the exponents. The exponent of each is 1. So if you add 1 plus 1, you have squared. 3x times negative 1, that's negative 3x. We can further simplify this as 10x cubed 
plus 13x squared minus 3x. What did we do? We combined negative 2x squared plus 15x squared. That's why we have 13x squared. Another example, let us compute for f divided by h. By definition, f divided by h of x is the same as this quantity. So we take f of x, that's 2x squared plus 3x, and then the divisor is our h of x, that is 5x minus 1. Since we cannot do anything here, we cannot simplify this any further, then this would be our final answer. 2x squared plus 3x all over 5x minus 1. Another one, another example, we're going to divide f and g. By definition again, f divided by g is this expression. Our numerator is f of x, but this time our denominator is g of x. g of x is equal to 1 over x. Let's proceed. Here is our numerator. I went back to this notation. It's just the same. We can use this notation, the bar notation, or this notation for division. That's 1 over x. This is our numerator still. This is our denominator, 1 over x. How should we proceed? We can write 2x squared plus 3x times x. Why did it become multiplication? Because we took the reciprocal of 1 over x. Remember, we can change division to multiplication, but we're going to multiply the reciprocal of that divisor. So we have x. The reciprocal of 1 over x is x. Our remaining task here is to multiply the two expressions here. So we have 2x cubed plus 3x squared. x times 2x squared is 2x cubed. x times 3x is 3x squared. We maintain the operation addition here. Alright, that is our different operations on functions. Thank you for listening.